Hello students and welcome to our ACT Week 26 Lesson Breakdown. During this week, we will be covering what we'll be studying from May 12th till the May 16th. So let's delve deeper and figure out which concepts we will be studying in more depth. On Sunday, we will be going over reaction rates. We will be able to outline the way to calculate reaction rate and to differentiate between reaction rate and the volume or mass produced in a chemical compound. We will also be able to describe how stoichiometry is used to calculate reaction rates. On Monday, we will be going over the net ionic equations. During that lesson, we will be able to outline the products of the solubility rules. We will be able to determine the products of a net ionic equation. And we will be able to determine how to write a full and net ionic equation and differentiate between them. On Tuesday, we will be learning about the representation of chemical reactions. During that lesson, we will be able to outline the way to represent a chemical reaction going over previous concepts, and we will be learning how to determine how to represent AFL and net ionic equations to further emphasize on what we previously took. On Wednesday, we will be going over the solubility rules. So we will be able to differentiate between a soluble and an insoluble ionic compound. During that lesson, we will be able to outline the different types of chemical reactions and through that, we will be able to describe the solubility of different ionic compounds. So if the compound is soluble in water, we will place an aqueous solution as a state symbol. And if the compound is insoluble, we will place it as a precipitate or a solid ionic compound. Last but not least, on Thursday, we will be going over the physical and chemical properties of matter to wrap everything up. During that lesson, we will be able to outline the difference between physical and chemical properties of matter. We will also be able to analyze the difference between physical and chemical changes. And most importantly, we will be able to differentiate between physical and chemical properties and physical and chemical changes to ensure that we have a holistic view of chemical reactions concept. Last but not least, let's please remember that success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing or learning to do. Thank you very much for listening to this lecture cast, and I hope you guys have a lovely day.